Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to estimate the square root of irrational numbers. So we're going to do some problems together and then you have a chance to try some problems on your own and at the end you can see how you did. All right. So remember, when we estimate, we're not getting the exact. Um, these numbers over here on the left hand side of the page, um, these are perfect squares, right? So these have exact square roots. So for example, the square root of, of 1 we know is 1 because 1 times 1 is 1. The square root of 4 is 2 because 2 times 2 is, is 4. And let's keep on going. This is going to be this, this 3. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 36 is 6. The square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 64 is 8. The square root of 81 is 9. The square root of 100 is 10. The square root of 121 is 11. The square root of 144 is 12. The square root of 169 is 13. The square root of 196 is 14. And the square root of 225 is 15. So these are nice answers because these are perfect squares, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the, the square roots of the numbers between these square roots. Like if I said, what's the square root of say 20? Well, I know it's gonna be between 16 and, and 25, right? So the square root is gonna be between four and, and five. If I wanna know what's the square root of say 105, well, I know that's gonna be between 100 and 121. So it's gonna be between 100, uh, between 10, excuse me, and 11. So we wanna figure out what the, we wanna estimate the square root of 28. So I know the square root of 28 is gonna be between the square root of 25 and the square root of 36. So let's write that down. So the square root of 25 and the square root of 36 and we want to estimate the square root of 28. So I know the square root of 25 is 5 and I know the square root of 36 is 6 and I want to know now what the square root of 28 is as close as I can. So I know that 28 is a little bit closer to 25 than it is to 36. I know it's 3 away from 25. I know it's 8 away from 36. So I'm going to come up with an answer of around 5 point, let's say 2. And I think that's going to be pretty close. So let's check it. If I check it with a calculator, so if I type in 28 and hit the screw button, we get 5.29. So this is about 5.3. So we're, we're pretty close. All right, so on the number line, I'm going to assume the square root of 28 is a little bit to the left of five and a half. So right about there would be a good estimation for the square root of, of 28. So what you do to estimate the square root of an irrational number is you find the two square roots to the left and right of it that you know are perfect squares. So the square root of 25 is five. And you know the square root of 36 is six. And then you estimate based on that where this one would fall between the five and the six. So let's turn the page, let's try one more together. And this time we want to figure out or estimate the square root of 95. Well, again, here's a table of uh, the first 25 um, perfect squares, square roots. So the square root of 95 is gonna be between, let's see, where can we find it here? Uh, between these two. So I know the square root of 81 is nine, and I know the square root of 100 is 10. And again, we're trying to estimate the square root of 95. Now, this time, 95 is quite a bit closer to 100, right, than 81. Um, it's, it's 14 away from 81, and it's only five away from 100. So it's gonna be quite a bit closer to 10 than it is nine. So my estimation for this one would be, say, maybe about I don't know, 9.8 or so. So let's check that with the uh, the calculator. Let me clear out of this one. And if I type in 95 and hit square root, we get 9.74, which is pretty close uh, to my 9.8 estimation. All right, so now, now that you understand how to estimate square roots uh, of irrational numbers, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do with this your turn problem. So for this problem, we wanna estimate the square root of 50, which is an irrational number. 
So I've already done a little bit of work here. I know the square root of 50 is going to be between the square root of 49, which is 7, and between and then uh, the square root of 64, which is 8. So our answer has to be between 7 and 8. And the square root of 50 is only 1 away from the square root of 49, and it's 14 away from the square root of 64. So it's going to be much closer to 7 than 8. So again, if I think of all the numbers between 7 and 8, like 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5, and so on, it's going to be really close to 7 than 8. So I'm going to give an estimation of around 7.1. And let's see how we did here with the calculator. And let me clear this. And I've hit 50 and then square root. We get about 7.07, .07, which is only 3 one hundredths away from our estimation of 7.1. All right, how'd you do?